What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's for today, bringing you guys back with a brand new Attack on Titan Season 4 reaction video today. We are going to be reacting to episode number 4 of Season 4 of Attack on Titan. Last episode, we got to see, finally, Aaron Yeager at the very, very last portion of that episode. So I am super excited to see what the heck his plan is and why he's inside the walls of the other side of the battle and how he's going undercover and his thoughts and his mindset. I'm excited to see all about that and see how this amazing plot and story actually pans out. Hopefully you guys are excited. If you guys are, then be sure to leave a like on this video subscribe to this channel if you guys are new to this channel that'd be greatly appreciated also bear in mind that i do in fact have a patreon so if you guys do want to watch four reaction videos get early access content and exclusive series reactions you guys can find all that over there on the patreon page thank you guys so so much it is the best way to support the channel and i do see all of you guys support over there and on here and on the youtube channel i see all of you guys support everywhere so i appreciate each and every single one of you guys nonetheless this episode episode number four of season four of attack on titan i am super excited to dive back into this story because this season has already been super super crazy and we haven't even seen for the most part besides aaron last episode we haven't really seen aaron armin levi because we haven't seen our main characters yet and still this has been really really amazing so i'm excited to dive right back into the attack on titan world enough talk let's go through and dive right into this episode, episode number four of season four of Attack on Titan. Falco, where are you headed to sleep? Man, Falco's tired. Man's been working hard, huh? Aww. Reiner didn't kill himself last episode. I'm glad. I want to send a letter, but if they see what I wrote, they'll know I shouldn't be here. Would you be willing to send it from outside the internal? Oh, wow. Falco's doing my man Aaron a favor. Okay. I like Falco. He's a good kid. All right. So the title of this episode is called From One Hand to Another. Let's see what it's all about. Why all the commotion? The Tiber family just arrived. Looks like all of them. The Tiber family? Is that the family that has the Warhammer? They're the Tiber's personal guard. It's an independent force. I hear they're good. Oh, wow. Is this the same people that are, like, living the good life? I think they were introduced and talked about a few episodes back. Lord Tiber. What's up, buddy? Allow me to introduce you to my beloved family. Oh, wow. He has a large family. That's adorable. <laughs> Can you tell which of us is the Warhammer Titan? No, sir. No one knows, huh? Which one of them is the Warhammer Titan? Someone among us needs the Warhammer. Oh, gosh. Who is it? Is it him or is it one of these little kids? I hope not. I hope it's not one of the little kids. Do I like this character? I don't know. He kind of seems a little bit mysterious. I don't know about him. To the people of Marley, war exists only in the pages of their newspapers. That is true. By forcing Marleyan citizens to risk their own necks in the trenches, we can eventually put a halt to this war. Wow. As you just noted, Marley is under the Tiber family's influence. Yep. We chose to stand by and watch as this country plunged itself. Oh, wow. We're learning a little bit more about the, the Tiber family. Okay. When I said I'd come to see the hero statue, I meant it. Marley needs a new Helos. Okay. I ask you to take my hand and work at my side. Oh, wow. Are we going to work together? I think we might work together. Oh, my gosh. Good morning, Pac. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This character is so, uh, I like her. I like her. Ah, oh, that is right. She is the cargo titan, so of course she'd like feel naturally, naturally wanting to walk like that. Now it's kind of silly, kind of, kind of fun. Okay. We need to land a great many troops and supplies, and for our largest ships to dock, we'll need control of that southern wharf. Talking about our game plan. Okay, what we got? I was just sharing information that I thought you might find useful, sir. Well, I think you've shared quite enough. Just trying to help out. Gosh. I'm excited to hear what they come up with. Like entrusting the whole operation to four children with no support. Man, they really got kids out here in like boot camp, running with guns and stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, look at him. Falco got past Gobby. He's working hard. Let's go. But it doesn't matter how well Falco does from this point, does it? I mean, 
Nah, it does. My man Falco is working hard. Let's go. I'm rooting for it, man. Falco's my favorite character on this side of the walls. <laughs> Let's go, man. Bro, Gabi needs to be, like, humbled. Hey, you tell her. Let's go, Falco. You can tell she's irritated. <laughs> He is, right, huh? Trying to protect her. Oh my god. You wouldn't get it. I'm proud of Falco, man. He's stepping up. This guy is drunk, man. <laughs> I'm just Sophia. It's not Gabby. My man is literally hammered in the afternoon. <laughs> Gosh, that girl put him in his place. Jesus. Oh, nice. Let's go. Oh, look at the construction going on. Okay. Wow. This is going to be quite some massive, like, festival. It's going to be cool. That is true. My family came from a foreign internment site. That was awful. Yikes. Maybe they want to help people understand us. This is our chance to show the world that we aren't devils. Smile! Oh my god. This episode's kind of silly. It has a lot of silly, fun scenes. I like it so far. Stop pretending to be a weirdo, Zofia. Um, this is just who I am. <laughs> She's just chilling, huh? Not everybody wants to be in the center of attention, Gabby. Oh my god. Jesus, you gotta be careful with Gabby, she's crazy. What if he's the Warhammer? Oh wow, so we're actually gonna be working together, huh? Oh wow. It's not good for you guys. Mr. Kruger, huh? No matter how hard I push myself. Aww. Thank you for delivering those letters for me. Wow. Is that why Aaron went over here just to, like send a message or is he gonna try to do something else? Did your family send it to you? They thought it would make hospital life less boring. A baseball glove? I need to move forward too. After the festival, I'm going back to my hometown. Oh wow. Okay. I mean, Aaron's out here lurking. Oh shoot, the doctor's here. My name's Jaeger. I'm an internment zone physician. I like to come Jaeger. And drink tea from time to time. Bro, what? The boy just now. Is he a friend? Guess so. Hmm. I wonder if he could have been my friend. Bro, does he know? This is like a very scary kind of conversation. I don't know if he knows or not. The boy and his brother said they wanted to become warriors, and now his brother has been chosen to inherit the beast type. Wow, that's something. Hold on. Why tell me all this? I think he knows. The Grice family's efforts will have been for nothing if people begin to suspect him of something illicit. He knows. <laughs> I'm scared. You have regrets. I was so hard on my son. So insistent that he become a doctor. Is this Aaron's uncle? Oh, wow. My man is freaking out. Wow. He is freaking, freaking out. Jesus. Where are we at? This place looks fancy. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Why does everything have to be a crazy comp competition sort of thing with Gabby? Oh, they are racing. Oh my god. The ultimate team. Oh no. Yikes. Is everything all right? This is quite embarrassing, but I spilled wine on my kimono, which just... Ah, she took the blame for it. Aw. Why won't you... There's no telling what they would have done to you if I'd been honest, right? Oh, wow. It's really that serious? You know she knew that I'm an Eldian. 
Oh, wow. That was close. That was real close. Here's this guy. I don't know how I feel about this dude. The first black person in Attack on Titan. We made it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. They don't look too happy. They don't look happy at all. Oh my god, they are not about it. They're not feeling this at all. These people are known to be descendants of devils. And their ancestors massacred untold millions. What is this, the battle before, or the, the festival before the battle? And tomorrow night, I'll share it. In the course of my first ever theatrical production, I hope that each of you will be there. Oh wow, things are getting crazy, huh? Wow, okay. See how this goes, man. I'm excited. Where are we at now? Who's this? Gobby? What the this place looks all kinds of crazy. This really is truly like a big old festival. Oh my god. <laughs> is that ice cream? The first time they had ice cream? Oh my gosh. Wow. They transformed the place, huh? What's up, Reiner? Hey, he's getting himself a bite as well. Or did he buy it for everybody else? Aw, I'm glad to see him smile from time to time. That's what you get for being a glutton. She is stuffed. <laughs> oh, yeah? Probably is, huh? Might be some some foreshadowing there. I'm confused. That was already the end of the episode? We didn't even get a to be continued scene this time. It wasn't even like a big old cliffhanger. It's just like kind of like a chilled out, kind of happy episode. I kind of like that. That was a lot of fun. That was a fun episode. I really enjoyed that. Um, I can't believe it ended so abruptly though. And so like suddenly, I didn't think that was the end. How have you enjoyed the festival? Wait, where's Falco? Where is he? Look there. I guess we need it back. <laughs> Mr. Brown! Oh wow, there's Falco. What's up, buddy? Do you mind coming with me? Don't think there's time. Uh, you'll be fine. The curtains won't go up for a few more minutes. What's this all about? Is he gonna meet Aaron? Okay. He's gonna meet Aaron. Oh my gosh. Meet me. It's been four years. Oh my god. There's the to be continued screen. I knew this episode was missing something. So that was the end scene for that episode. I had to check because something didn't feel right about this episode. Just ending it all of a sudden like it did. That's our to be continued scene. Wow. All right. So that was that episode of Attack on Titan. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, you guys are new to do. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel if you guys are new to this channel. That'd be greatly appreciated. Also bear in mind that I do in fact have a Patreon. So if you guys do want to get full reaction videos, early access content, and exclusive series reactions, you guys can find all that over there on the Patreon page. Thank you guys so, so much. I am excited to talk about this episode because there is a lot that happened that is really interesting. And it was also a really, really fun episode. There's a few like serious scenes and a lot of like, you know, crucial to the like actual plot of the story type of scenes. But it was also like there was a lot of funny scenes as well that was kind of like just, I guess, fun scenes. So that was really, really cool to watch as well. But we started this episode out with Aaron talking to Falco. Falco is like kind of like his messenger guy. Like he's like taking notes for him and like delivering them and doing all sorts of stuff. By the end of the episode, he like called around Reiner and like delivered Reiner to him so Aaron could talk to him. Uh, so Falco's definitely you know stepping up for him and actually being a really huge helper for Aaron. Um, it's really cool that Aaron's actually inside the walls, kind of playing like undercover mode. So that's really cool to watch inside of these last two episodes. Um, I, I guess he has some sort of plan. Obviously, calling like Reiner with like full confidence, like he did. He has some sort of like plan for you know obviously being here. So I'm excited to see how it all kind of unfolds after that scene. We got to see the members of the Tybert family, and one of them has got to be the Warhammer Titan. One of them has got to be the Warhammer Titan. I hope it's not one of the little kids. I saw, like, a lot of, like, seven, eight-year-old kids. So, hopefully, they're not the Warhammer Titan because otherwise they, like, die by the time they're, like, 16 or something, right? So, hopefully, it's not one of them. I think it might be the long-haired guy. I mean, he just has some, like, some, like overall confidence to him that he just like 
like brings what brings to the table everywhere he goes so i feel like he might be the warhammer titan it might be like too obvious for him to be the warhammer titan maybe it's someone else i'm not too entirely sure i'm guessing we're gonna have to find out in the future of attack on titan uh but man the the tybert family is definitely the force to be reckoned with he actually like uh they're actually working together with these people so i think they're like formed a little bit of an alliance together and they actually had like a little bit of like a festival by the end of the episode and had like a little bit of a toast talking about you know i guess it's like the the little celebra celebration before the battle before things get serious i think this happened a few times as well with uh you know aaron and mikasa and everybody they had sort of like a a time where they feasted on food and had a good time before they battled so i guess this might be the same sort of thing going on here um after that happened we got to see uh the the girl peak i think i think her name is peak and she was like crawling on the floor like she was the cargo titan as a human so that kind of makes sense that was a really cool scene to kind of add in the fact that you know she is like so adjusted to being the cargo titan that she like instinctively just feels naturally uh at, at just ease being the cargo titan as a human so that's kind of like cool to actually you know see we're seeing a lot of scenes where she you know is like slopping around kind of crawling around kind of you know on her crutches and stuff so i really enjoy her character her like uh, attention to detail when it comes to being the cargo titan after that happened we got to see falco surpassed Gabi in uh, one of the little competition things. He actually did better than Gabi, which is a huge, huge bonus and a huge, huge plus. Uh, hopefully, can manage to you know keep up that good work. Falco is definitely stepping up to the table and doing really, really good. Gabi actually got kind of mad at that. I don't, I don't think I really enjoy Gabi's character. I'm not too entirely sure. She seems kind of like boastful and like confident and super, super like just uh, like at the center of attention of everything or wanting to be at the center of the attention of everything. And so I think she needs to be humbled a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Um, her character is definitely interesting. I gotta say, she's not one of my favorites, but she's definitely interesting. I gotta say so. Um, after that happened, we actually got to see the construction of the festival, and man oh man, is there going to be a lot of people, things are about to get crazy, I guess, at this festival, especially with, uh, all this stuff going on with Aaron talking to Ryan, so I can only imagine the crazy stuff that happens in this festival area. Lots of scenes with, uh, the, the kids, you know, we got Udo, we have Sophie, I think her name is, we have Gabi, Falco, a lot of scenes with them being silly and stuff and talking to one another, uh, so I really enjoyed those scenes. After that happened, however, we got to see a really, really cool scene where Falco met Aaron on the bench. When he left, this old guy came into play and started talking to Aaron a little bit, and I think he might be related to Aaron, um, because he was talking about, you know, his son being a doctor and stuff, so I think that might be Aaron's uncle, so that, I think, was my favorite scene inside of this episode that was just crazy to watch, and the guy kind of, like, freaked out. I guess he's kind of, like, just, like, messed up in the head right now, and that was a really crazy scene. So I guess, and he even had, like, the same eye color and the same, like, I guess, appearance as Aaron in a way, so that's gotta be his uncle, right? I have a feeling like that's just gotta be his uncle or his grandpa or, or something, man. It has gotta be something, you know? Um, after that happened, uh, we got to see the sort of like celebration before the battle, I guess, going on. So that was a really cool to see, scene to actually watch as well. And then after that, we got to see the festival get on the rise. And man, are they having a good time. All, you know, Falco, Gabi, Udo, Sophia, they're all like eating ice cream, stuffing, them, stuffing themselves with food and stuff. I think Reiner's actually like buying them food. And he, had a, he actually like cracked a little bit of a smile. So I'm glad Reiner can get a little bit of a smile after, you know, seeing the, the craziness that happened last episode. The festival is on a rise and... We got to see in the end scene that Falco actually called Reiner to Aaron, and I guess they're gonna chat. So that's gonna that's all that happened inside of this episode. If I miss anything whatsoever, let me know down in the comment section down below. These episodes are just filled with so much information, so I'm sorry if I miss anything whatsoever. There is so much to talk about. Let me know anything that I missed inside of this episode down in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching it. Thank you for making it this far to the end of the video. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Hopefully, you guys had actually enjoyed this reaction to episode number four of season four of Attack on Titan. If you guys did, you guys are going to do, be sure to leave a like on this video subscribe to this channel if you guys are new to this channel that'd be greatly appreciated also bear in mind i do in fact have a patreon where you guys can view the full reactions to this video and all my other youtube videos as well you guys get early access content and exclusive series reactions over there on the patreon page that is going to do it for this episode episode number four of season four of attack on titan i'll be seeing you guys in my next one peace